Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've set up my VS Code for, in my opinion, really productive and, and fun Java plus TypeScript development. Now, if you have any other tips on how I could improve on this setup, please let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll record an updated video later on based on, on what I learned from you guys. So let's take a look at my setup. Okay, so there are essentially three different plugins that I'm going to recommend that you install. You can install them by going into the plugins uh, panel here. The first one, search for Java and select the Java extension pack. This will download and install a bunch of different Java based extensions that will make Java development a lot easier and a lot nicer in VS Code. The second one I'm going to recommend to install is the Spring Boot extension. So Spring Boot Tools by Pivotal. The project that we downloaded in the previous video is a Spring Boot project. So if you end up going in and configuring any Spring Boot related things, this plugin will help you uh, deal with that. Finally, I'm going to recommend that you install Lit Plugin. So there are two different Lit HTML plugins that are available. Uh, this one called Lit Plugin is the one that I recommend that you install because it gives you a little bit more in information about the components that you're using. The final thing that I'm going to recommend that you change. So if you go into your, your settings from file, or I guess here, yep, preferences settings or command and comma and search for Emmet. This is a templating light, uh, tool that helps you kind of, uh, type HTML faster. I guess it's a good, uh, description and here in the include languages section, add TypeScript and JavaScript with the value HTML. This means that we'll get the same autocomplete help that we would normally get in HTML files. We'll also get in the embedded type uh, HTML within the TypeScript file. So let's take a look at our, our project here. You see that we have a normal Maven based project here. So we have a source main with all the Java files. Then we have a front end folder here, which is specific to the Vaden project. And again, here we have a views and the demo view that we created. So if we open up this, you'll see we have a little bit of CSS here. We'll get back to that in a later video. And then we have a render uh, method here that returns some HTML. So let's go ahead and start this. If you have the Spring Boot uh, plugin, you'll have the Spring Boot dashboard here. You can press the play button and start the project. Now, the first time you start a new Vaden project, this will take a little bit of time because it's first downloading all the Maven dependencies and then it's downloading all the NPM dependencies. And depending on your, uh, on your internet connection speed, that might take some time. In addition, the first time it also builds a front end bundle, uh, with Webpack. So that'll also take a little bit of time depending on how fast your computer is. So we'll wait for this for a little, a uh, little while. When you see front end compiled successfully, you can go into your browser, go to port 8080 on your local host. And you should see something that looks a little bit like this. Now, Vaadin comes with a live reload feature, and that's something that Spring Boot DevTools also gives us. So if we go in and change something in our, in our code here, let me make things a little bit easier for us to see. So I'll collapse that to the side like that. And let's change the text here to the classic old hello world and save. And what we can see here is that the browser gets automatically updated. We can see the change here in our browser. Okay. So now we got our setup done. And in the next video, I want to dive deeper into this uh, specific view here and just go through how we can build views, how the reactive programming model works, how the template language works and, and all about that. So Stick around, uh, be sure to subscribe, ask your questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.